up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you something incredibly useful, something I think a lot of you guys are gonna be really excited to see, and that is how to use any app on your iPhone inside of CarPlay. So right now, CarPlay only works with a couple applications. So to name some of those off, that would be like your phone app, iMessage, Spotify, podcasts, you know, a lot of the stock apps like iBooks, things like that, but there's a lot of people out there that would like to have some third-party applications to use on CarPlay. Things like Google Maps or maybe Waze or maybe just some applications that you use on a daily basis like Snapchat, Instagram. Now I understand why Apple has limited the applications that go into CarPlay and what's accessible in CarPlay. It's because they don't want people driving and using CarPlay in a distracting way. They want it to be hands off as possible. They want it to be, you know, where you don't have to look at the screen all the time. And I totally agree with that. But I also think we should have the right to use whatever application we want to in CarPlay if we want to. So it's a great idea not to watch movies while you're driving. I totally understand that. But there's also situations where, you know, you drop your kid off at soccer practice and you're waiting for practice to be over. Maybe you want to watch a movie. Maybe you want to watch a YouTube video. Well, you can watch that on your car display if you have this app called CarBridge. So CarBridge is the app that's going to allow you to use all these third-party applications inside of CarPlay. So first I wanna show you the application, how you set it up and everything, and then I'll show you it in use in my car. All right, let's take a look at the app. So to get to CarBridge, all you have to do is go into your settings app, and then it's gonna be here with all the rest of your tweaks. So CarBridge is right here. We can open that up. Now keep in mind, you do have to be jailbroken in order to download and install CarBridge. If you're not jailbroken just yet, you can check the links in the description below and I walk you through the entire process. Now CarBridge is gonna be released today for $4.99. Absolutely 100% worth the five bucks if you're wanting third-party apps in CarPlay. So it's a really simple and straightforward settings panel here. You can see uh, we have the bridged applications. So basically this is where you're going to enable the third party apps that you want to show up in CarPlay. So you can see the bridged applications right here. These are all the ones that I have enabled. So I have FaceTime, Google Maps, Instagram, Plex, Prime Video, Reddit, Sci-Fi, TV, TweetBot, all those right there. You can see down here, these are the other applications that I didn't necessarily see uh, a reason to put into uh, CarPlay, but you can see how to add these. You just tap on it, you check the preferred orientation, and then you just enable it right up here. So if you want it to be portrait and enabled, then you can do that. If you want it to be landscape, you can tap right there. So I'll go ahead and disable this one just because I don't need that on there. Uh, but you come up here and then you can see all the apps that you have enabled. And then right below that, we have the Show Portal app. So the Portal app is an application that you can put into CarPlay that when you tap on it in CarPlay, it's going to mirror whatever is on your screen. And I'll show you how that works once we get into my car. Now right here you have the icon column. So depending on what type of display you have in your car, this is where you're going to change how many columns are inside CarPlay. So for me, my display only supports four icons across. And you can actually move this up all the way to 10 icons. So if you have a really large display, a really long display, then you can use that. But my only supports four. Now keep in mind if you have a tweak installed that changes the layout of your device, then this is going to cause issues. So you might need to tweak your layout tweak in order to get all those applications to show up on your display. Now right below that we have the CarPlay settings. So this is pretty much the same thing that you're gonna see uh, if you've ever set up CarPlay before, but you can see my car right here, and then you have all of your icons that you can just manage here. So I have my audio books, everything set right there. You can see I have Google Maps applied, I have FaceTime right there, and we swipe across. Instagram, Plex, this is the portal app I was talking about. I have Prime Video, uh, Sci-Fi, Spotify, Reddit, TweetBot, Waze, YouTube, and the TV app. So you can set that up however you want to, really easy. You just move it around like you would if you're gonna move applications around on your iPhone home screen. And of course, if you want to remove applications, you just tap right there in order to uh, do so. So we're gonna leave it how it is right now. Uh, as we pop back out here. That's pretty much all there is to it in terms of features. You do right down here have some support options so you can join the Discord channel if you want to. And then right down here you have all your credits. So let's go plug this device into my car and I'll show you how it all works. All right, so now let's take a look and see what CarBridge can actually do. So let's just go over to our second page here and you'll notice that even if you have a, a tweak installed like Cylinder that changes the pages animations, you're gonna see that that's gonna take place on CarPlay as well. But you'll notice here that we have a lot of third-party apps. So let's check out Google Maps first. So this is the one that I'm most excited about. And the really cool thing about this is, and about all these apps, is that you can do everything that you can do inside the app on your iPhone, you can do it in CarPlay with CarBridge. 
So that's not necessarily the case with stock iOS apps that you get from CarPlay normally. So things like Apple Maps, you're not able to type in an address. Well, you can do that in Google Maps with CarBridge. So if you wanted to type something in like donuts, well, you can do that. Uh, if you want to use the mic, you can use the mic. Donuts. And then it's going to find some donuts around you. So scrolling is incredibly easy. You know, it works just like you would think it would. Nothing's really off limits in this regard. And that's what makes this tweak really awesome. So if we back out of this, and let's try TweetBot this time. Open up TweetBot. This is the profile of my uh, Twitter account. So you can see just scrolling through here. If we wanted to go to my timeline, we can scroll through our timeline. If we wanted to compose a tweet, we can compose a tweet. So like I was saying, you can basically do anything that you can do inside the app right there on CarPlay. So TweetBot works, Google Maps works, Instagram works. So here's my profile. If we wanted to add a photo, we just tap right there. It goes straight to our camera roll. That's not what I meant to do. If we tap cancel here, uh, we can go to our timeline and we can go through, you know, just our timeline to look at pictures. Of course, you can search. You can check your likes or your activity there. Now, what about Plex? So if you're not familiar with Plex, Plex is a media server app. So if we go ahead and open this up, uh, we're able to play anything that we have in our Plex library. So if I wanted to play this uh, show Legion, we'll just tap play and it'll take a little bit, little bit to load. We actually have to open it up here. It's Tuesday, right? What is? Today but you can see Tuesday. it plays perfectly fine. And that is what is so awesome about this. You can play TV shows, videos, movies, anything right there in Plex or any other media server app. So even something like Kodi. Kodi probably works as well. I haven't been able to test it because I don't have it on my device but I'm sure that it works. Now, there are some video apps, things like Netflix. Netflix isn't going to work just due to DRM. And DRM basically is going to prevent it from playing any type of video on your CarPlay display. Now, I will say every single application that I've used other than Netflix has worked with CarBridge and CarPlay. So, I mean, even if we open up Reddit here, you can see that it's in portrait mode, but you can scroll through here if you wanted to open up uh, one of the posts to comment. Well, you can do so just by tapping that and then we can uh, actually add a comment if we wanted to let's go back if we wanted to open up the actual picture here it pulls it up just like it would if you're signed in then you can upvote or downvote these now how practical it is to browse reddit on your car display that's another question but the fact that you can do it is what's so cool same thing goes for YouTube if we open up YouTube here and if you want to search, you can type in something and you can search. Uh, if we open up a video here, once it loads up, uh, you can make this full screen. Of course you have audio. So that's my perfect jailbroken setup video. If you guys want to check that out, I'll link it in the description. But pretty much everything that you could possibly imagine or possibly want in CarPlay, you can get it with CarBridge. And that's what I like so much about this. Now, if you're a Waze fan, then you can use Waze. I don't use Waze too much. Uh, I'm more of a Google Maps fan. But now the other thing that I do want to show you here is Portal. So what Portal does is it mirrors exactly what is on your device. So for instance, if we go ahead and open up Portal, you can see that I'm on my lock screen right here and it's showing all those notifications. So if I go ahead and unlock my device and we start swiping, you can see that's exactly what it does. Now, if we open up uh, YouTube or an application and let's just say we were gonna play the video. If we go into landscape mode, you can see that it goes into landscape mode as well. So it's a really nifty tool just for applications that might not be working too well uh, directly in the display. So if you're having trouble with a particular application that's not necessarily cooperating or there's just one little feature or bug that's not working too well, we'll just pull up the app on your phone and then mirror it. And that's gonna work just as well. So even if we pull up the portal and let's just say we wanted to open up an application, you can do that 
right there on your display. So that's just what's so cool about this is that it's so backwards compatible that it doesn't even matter. Where you want to control it, you can do it on the phone or the heads up display. And the other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is that you can have two apps running simultaneously. So you could have an app running on your phone and then have a separate app running right here on your, on your car display. So let's just say that I open up TweetBot right here. So TweetBot's open on my phone and then I can open up YouTube right here. So that's something that you could not do without this tweak installed. Tweaks and themes work with CarPlay as well. So if you want to theme your device or theme your CarPlay, then you can do so just by adding a theme uh, through an enemy. So this is Muse 3 in CarPlay. So I am a huge fan of CarBridge. I mean, if you have a jailbroken device and you have CarPlay, I don't know why you wouldn't pay $4.99 for this awesome tweak. I mean, I'd spend five bucks just to get Google Maps on my CarPlay. So I think you should check it out too. This is going to be released today for $4.99. I'll put the repo in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourself. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite application that you couldn't use in CarPlay that you can use in CarPlay with CarBridge. What's the application that you've been waiting for? Mine would be Google Maps. That's all I want. I just want to use Google Maps. Plex is pretty awesome too. I'm not going to lie. I do like the idea of watching some Plex. Of course, only when it's safe. But those are the two apps that I'm really looking forward to using. Let me know what your guys' are in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Share it with your friends, share it with your family. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Jailbreak, everything Apple, and any tech that I want to cover, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.